Hello friends and welcome to my channel Codecraft Shop. My name is Selesh Kushwaha and in this tutorial we will learn the overview of OpenShift for online cluster, different components of OpenShift cluster and then we will have the practical demo in which I will show you how the cluster looks like. Before moving forward I would request all of you to please go to my previous videos if you haven't seen those ones because we will use the concepts and the credentials that we have created in the previous video in this tutorial. So let us begin the demo. We can log into OpenShift cluster in various ways. One is using the on OpenShift online account. That is we need to log into manage.openshift.com and then we need to, we can also log in using the web console the URL that we will, we will get in the email once our cluster will be activated. And the third way is using the command line tool. So in this tutorial, we will use the OpenShift online account and through that we will log into the cluster. So let us begin the demo. First of all, we need to go to the page manage.openshift.com. On this site, we will uh, get an option login with the Red Hat account. So once I click on this, it will ask me to login with the Red Hat account. So in the previous video, I have uh, demonstrated as how we can create this Red Hat account. So I'm using those credentials which I have created in the previous video and using those credentials i will log in into my cluster so if you can see on my screen that i have logged in with my credentials to my openshift online account so there is an option a button is shown open web console so using the online openshift account i am opening the web console so in order to open that one i need to click on this once i click on this it will redirect me to the openshift web console It will do the redirects and then it will uh, allow us to log in into our cluster. So once we log in into our OpenShift cluster, then this is the default page which gets, you know, displayed for us. So this is the developers mode and we have one administrator mode. So these two uh, modes are for one is for if you wanted to you know manage something related to our cluster or related to our project then we need to go to the administrator mode and if we just wanted to you know create the project and deploy our application then we need to go to the developer mode these two modes are created so that we do not mesh up and we can just focus on the business implementations as needed so Topology. So there are various terms that uh, I will brief you about. One is topology. Topology is the area which displays in the graphical form or the pictorial form uh, how the components or how the new applications are tied to each other. Through the monitoring window, we can monitor the different components of the OpenShift cluster. Then we have the builds. Inside builds, we have the builds config like uh, if we are creating any project and we are deploying any application. So through build, build config, we can manage those builds. And then we have uh, uh, other options like search, helm and project ex details and project access. So if we go to the project details, it will show all the projects. But since uh, I haven't create, set up any project, so it is... Uh, uh, displaying our error message as restricted access. So let us create a project so that we can, uh, you know, check all these 
options so in order to create a project i will go to this create project and i will name my project as roadcraft shop so once once i click on create button a project will be created for me so how can you verify that a project has been created so if you click on this projects then we will have a code craft shop project under create projects so since we already have created our project so all these options like project access project details have been displayed to us earlier it was giving us an error so it says that uh, our project has been set up with name this this is the request just email id means the uh, credentials with which i have logged in these are the different component deployments pods pvcs and uh, route services config max and secrets i will brief you about these in my later videos each option displayed here is having a different role and functionality so i will you know so i will uh, discuss about this in later videos in the scope of this video is only to you know show you the look and feel of the openshift cluster so this is the add option through here we can create the projects or we can create the applications and let us move on to the administrator mode in administrator mode we have different options like the project which we have created here we can administrate a lot of projects we can create a lot of project but since this is the you know free version so only one project can be created in this cluster so we can search for the projects if uh, we have multiple projects we can explore the apis which are you used behind this openshift cluster so let me show you which are the apis that are you know supporting this openshift cluster so for binding we have a different APIs exposed, component status, config maps, endpoints, events, limit range, namespaces, node. So there are a lot of, you know, REST APIs, or we can say that OpenShift Online is based or created on the top of REST APIs. So for each and every action, we have a set of REST APIs. And if we go to the events, events will log all the, you know, events or all the actions which is happening in this project operators operators are the services that you know we can use to we can use in our project to leverage the functionalities like let us take an example jenkins so jenkins uh, pipeline we can install jenkins pipeline using jenkins operator and then uh, we we do not need any external Jenkins we can manage our Jenkins on the OpenShift cluster itself so and the next option is workloads in inside workloads we have all the you know major components which play a key role inside OpenShift project so here are the ports ports are the components which are small units of container and uh, OpenShift application gets deployed inside ports and then we have the deployments like once it get deployed on into the port so in, we can you know manage our deployments over here and if there is anything related to deployment means any configurations we can manage inside the deployment configs and then we have stateful sets and then we have uh, secrets and then we have config maps so these uh, two are used to manage the secrets and then if we wanted uh, to have a set of configurations then we can create a config map 
we also have we can also set up cron jobs on openshift 4 then we have we can also set normal jobs we can set the replica sets replica sets are like how many ports i wanted to run on this uh, uh, openshift cluster for a project for a application so replication controllers are the are the components through which we manage our replicas all these components in itself is a huge topic i will you know when we move forward i will explain each and everything and i will show you in a practical way as how we work with these components now inside networking we have different options like services routing network policies ingress so let me brief you something about the routes and services because these are two are the major uh, components which we talk in uh, when we move to the next videos every openshift application is associated with a service and if we wanted to expose those to the global we if we wanted to expose it globally then we can create routes and if we inside storage we have persistent volume claims so we can you know set up databases and uh, inside this storage options and then we have the builds builds inside builds we have different options like build configs builds and then image streams image streams are the streams which uh, holds the container images or uh, container images or we can say that the application images and then inside user management we can you know manage our users we can bind uh, roles uh, to the users and we can create service accounts roles and then bind those roles and then inside administrator we have the you know resource quotas and uh, limit ranges it means that for every project and for every application for we can you know restrict the utilization of the resources and we can limit the ranges within certain limits like cpu use uh, cpu usage and then memory allocations so we can control each and every uh, each and every step or we can say that the life, life cycle of ports so these are the different components which we have here in openshift 4 and then we can we have the option to you know login using commands through this option we can generate our tokens which we can use when we log in through the command line tool so through this option we can display our tokens and we also have the documentations and we can also import if we have the yaml format or the project uh, structure in a, some saved format like json or yaml we can import those projects directly inside the openshift cluster so this is the overview of the different components that we have in openshift so this is all about the demo Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like the video, please do subscribe my channel if you haven't. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at the handle CodeCraftShop. Thank you.